Hi, I'm Andreas and in this Nexperia video series we will explain everything about ESD protection. In high-speed interfaces, the ability to extract typical electrical values on data lines as voltage and currents in the direct manner becomes very difficult. This is because in digital systems the data transmission is done using bits, which are counted as 1 and 0. To transfer a high amount of data, the number of bits in a time slot becomes very high. For example, for a network of 20 gigabit per second and hence frequency of 10 gigahertz, the time period of a periodic signal is only 0.1 nanosecond. Using the formula for the speed of the signal on the PCB, we can calculate the wavelength, which results in 14 mm. The comparison to dimensions of a typical PCB shows that this wavelength is already in the range of typical dimensions of electronic components. Now, any discontinuity in the transmission path of the signal, which can be an electronic component, impedance change or even a bend of the trace, can be a handicap for the traveling signal. This has consequences, since one portion of the signal will be transmitted and the other will be reflected. Here we can use the scattering parameters. The scattering parameters give us a generic value for a portion of a transmitted and reflected wave, which are typically called as insertion loss and return loss in frequency domain respectively. The insertion loss can be seen as a transfer function with respect to the reference impedance. Typical reference impedances are 50 ohm for the single-ended and 100 ohm for a differential system. In network theory, scattering parameters are organized in a matrix where S11 or S22 are standing for return loss and S21 or S12 are standing for insertion loss. For ESD protection devices, especially for high-speed applications, scattering parameters are given in the datasheet or can be provided by the vendor in a standardized touchstone format. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to learn more, write your questions in the comments below, visit nexperia.com and check out our ESD application handbook. Thanks for watching.